I've been interested in painting faces for a while. Um, I don't think there's anything more powerful than a portrait. I'm drawn to them in museums, on the street, in galleries. It's just something about the raw humanity and personality that's revealed by faces and bodies. A portrait kind of peels away all the other layers of perception and understanding and taps into something that we all identify with. Some kind of force that we all understand when looking into the eyes of another person, painted or not. Um, I began using oil paint for still lives my junior year of high school, and at first I, I absolutely absolutely hated the medium it was too messy the fumes were awful um i didn't know how to handle it and the paintings took way too long to dry and um the next year for my senior year i started to work on a portrait in acrylic and it just felt flat and expressionless so i started over this time reluctantly using oil paint and turpentine and something just clicked. I could see significant improvement in my painting as I layered on more and more paint. I really fell in love with the whole process and ended up working on a series of portraits of my friends and classmates. I loved the spontaneity of it all. I could grab someone from the hallway and snap a photo of them, print it out, and start painting on a blank canvas. I couldn't even slow down enough to sketch out a rough outline first. This is when I discovered my favorite part of painting a person. That wild in-between phase when the portrait is just starting to come together, but anything could happen. A smear of blue paint from the person's hair could get mixed in with the whole thing and, and change the tint of their face, which changes the product of the painting in an instant. In college, I studied art and sociology, and while I worked with a variety of mediums, from photography to printmaking, I found it hard to stray from the portrait, and I always found my way back to oil paint. I could never get the same punch from a landscape, or a still life, or even an abstract as I could from a portrait. I also found it very hard to slow my wild process down and to force myself to sketch and work on an underpainting and plan out a little bit before I began the actual undertaking of the, the paint. With that said, um, I'm thankful for the patience and guidance of my professors who helped me refine my abilities and technique without losing my wild, colorful style. Today, I still paint originals and commissions with the same bold strokes and arbitrary color, but somehow the sense of exploring something new is just as fresh as it was when I started painting. I'm still stumbling into happy accidents and finding ways to work crazy colors into the nooks and crannies of faces. <laughs>